What's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're gonna be actually taking you guys on a drive in the Speed 6. Um, I filmed some stuff a uh, couple different days and I wanted to show you guys, a lot of you guys wanted a, like a, a pure driving video and that's what I'm gonna give you. But uh, first, new shop dog. His name's Cheech. Hi buddy, hi buddy. It's Alex's dog, but yeah. Um, we're gonna get you guys uh, footage of the Speed 6, you know, normal driving, ripping, all that stuff. That's what you guys wanted, so that's what I'm gonna give you. And uh, it's, it turned out pretty good, so I'm sure you guys are gonna enjoy it. But I wanted to show you guys something real quick. I've never had the RX-8 on the lift ever yet. It just was never really needed for anything, but we wanted to start checking some things out and kind of getting game plans together for different things because, you know, we are gonna be rolling into our off season and we're gonna be thrashing on this thing. So check this out. What a freaking view, dude. Super sick. I'm gonna get acetone and wipe down every piece that was welded and you know fabricated. And the whole back half of this car and everything that was fabbed is gonna get cleared um, just so it stays nice. But absolutely sick. So obviously four link suspension that I've talked about you got bars going everywhere. Super nasty. AFCO suspension. This whole rear was fabbed from scratch. Every piece on here was laser cut on a, on a table. So sick. PDF, performance design and fabrication out in Tennessee is who did the work. Nuts. Fuel system lines will come right out of here. I'm gonna mount the pump probably right below it on one of these bars, uh, utilizing one of the bolts or something, um, and go from there. We're gonna have a, a massive fuel pump on the back. So probably do the, the pump and filter kind of right next to each other, and then just run, run the line out and then back for the return, but awesome. We gotta get brakes on this thing. I have brakes um, that we have for the rear already, uh, but we just gotta get the fronts. I'm actually, gonna be buying i think justin's uh welds that he had his weld wheels he originally had for his speed three but ended up not using them they're brand new in the box they're super sick and then i'm gonna get the matching front runners as well um but i gotta get measurements for a drive shaft to be made there's a local drive shaft shop here that makes okay. drive shafts for like it's a race car right here yeah race car um the drive shafts he makes are uh spin tested to about 10,000 rpm and they have, they have to be perfect. Um, and there's cars that are running 2000 horsepower that run them. So I trust them. So we got a measure for that. You know, trans mount cross member here is all fabbed. And uh, yeah, you can see how that's the hood up there, but the whole front part was tubed. That radiator intercooler, intercoolers, massive, <laughs> huge. It's also insane, just every time you look at the rear end of this thing, it's like the attention to detail that was done back here is insane. Yeah, it's wild. Um, it did such a good job. Power steering rack was properly deleted. It was opened up and capped and everything and uh, depowered. Everything was looking pretty good. I just put some cheap like eBay coilovers on the front because when it was at the fab shop, they needed something to work with. So I just got those quick, but JMF up there, I'm gonna actually pull that off because today we're giving it to the fab guy next door. He's gonna cut the elbow off and the throttle body will sit facing down so we can run our intercooler pipe from here uh, straight up to the throttle body. And then from this side, it'll go straight to the turbo right up here. So pretty sweet, pretty pumped to start getting this thing together. But GTR out here, that's all wrapped up. Alex crushed that one. And uh, yeah, just got a few cars out of here. A little cleanup action going on and then a couple more things to finish off the on week. The yeah, buddy, on to the next one. But uh, should probably just let them enjoy the the rips and the yeah. six. It was uh, pretty pretty sick. Pretty sick. Things a monster. And uh, we got dyno time scheduled for about a week from now. So we're gonna be going back to the dyno and- Drop your uh, below. Yeah, drop your guesses for the dyno below. Um, I think Justin's probably gonna do like maybe another revision on it because um, he said he wanted to finish off on the dyno. Ooh, I so, got an idea. 
whoever gets closest to the actual number, t-shirt. T-shirt and a sticker. There Easy. we go. Bam. If, you, if you're close to the number or nail the number, then we'll, uh, we'll hook you up. But we'll let you guys enjoy the video and we'll see you after it's done. We're just out driving around. A lot of you guys wanted a, a driving video, so that's what we're gonna do. Hit some rips. Probably get a test hit here real quick. I don't know if you guys can hear the fuel pump in the back. Thing rips. as it's like you know in and out of throttle is so sick and when you're not ripping it's just <laughs> just like you're driving a normal car there's nothing nothing crazy I told myself the other day I don't drive the car enough so I've had it the last three days and I've been driving it every day to work cruising around taking it to the gym in the morning it's great fuel pumps loud but
Shots fired, dude. Shots fired. Dude, this thing just hooks, dude. Holy crap. I freaking love it. Love it. This truly is a monster of a streetcar. I had a lot of people, I posted a clip of a third gear data log and everybody knows data logs, you start in third or fourth gear and you start from a very low RPM and just mat the gas. Everybody's like, oh man, it takes that thing forever to spool. Well, yeah, I'm in third gear going like less than 40 miles an hour and mashing it. Of course, this big turbo is gonna take a second to light up, but if, I guarantee you if I'm racing somebody or starting a pole like anybody else would, this thing does not take that long to spool up. And if I brake boost, game changer. Absolutely nuts. So access port, the highest boost I've, I've hit so far is 41 and a half pounds. Just on those last couple pulls. <clears throat> it's usually a consistent 39 to 42 depending on when I let off or whatever. Super nasty. Trying to get you guys some like good turbo noises. Super sick. This car is nasty. Little clip. Instagram, if you're not following us, go ahead and follow us now. You guys usually see like behind the scenes stuff. right now it's 5 47 in the morning I've already gone to the gym success doesn't wait for you guys you got to wake up and be ready to get after it got to find something that motivates you to get out of bed every day and uh, this car this business this YouTube fun that we have you know I still have a normal nine to five job every day. Actually, it's 7.30 to four, but you know, there's just a lot that goes into everything that I do and have done. And it, it's cool. Yeah, I just, I enjoy it, man. Waking up early and getting after it, it, it it's good for your mind. Get you going for the day. It's sweet. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let us know in the comments what you think it's gonna make on the dyno. It is gonna be on a Mustang dyno, so the numbers will read low, so keep that in mind. But just getting the shop cleaned up here while we have cars out and getting organized. But more to come for sure, definitely stay tuned. I keep saying we got big things coming. Just keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled, gonna be sick. With that, I'll leave you there. More stuff coming for the RX-8, more things happening with that. And uh, until next time, we'll see you later. Peace.